again and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are a returning subscriber welcome back to our channel and if you are not subscribed to my channel kindly guys consider subscribing and pressing the notification button bell and don't forget to like to our video so today guys i'm going to teach you how to make uji power uji power is a very nutritious porridge for your kids even for malnourished kids so guys what you are going to do i'm going to to invite you to our ingredients so for our ingredient guys we are going to use nduma the normal nduma that we have in our kitchen we are going to use nduma we are going to use cassava and sweet potato then we are going to use this butternut you can use any malenge that you get but for me i prefer this one we are going to use sugar to taste or honey whichever that you'll get so njugu karanga and also this is an uh, additional ingredient but a very a very nice ingredient and a very nutritious ingredient we are going to use simsim simsim but they are, they are not cooked you know when you cook them you add sugar then you need so we are going to use the simsim so guys we are going to start with our ingredients what we are going to do first we are going to to peel we are going to peel i had started peeling this this one this cassava i am going to peel the cassava then we wash then we boil so guys come with me we peel we peel them we peel them you can just use the nini your 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 knife that you have in your kitchen so i'm going to start by peeling the cassavas i'm going to peel everything we peel the cassavas we peel the nduma yes so guys as you can see we have already done peeling our cassava now we are peeling our nduma as i told you earlier we are going to peel all of them then we wash then we boil so now we are peeling our nduma and if guys if you have something that you can use peeling also you can use it but for me i prefer this nini the knife you know you can use the potato peeler but his nini, they are a bit hard you see nduma the the nature of nduma it is hard you cannot use the potato peeler but if you have something much stronger you can use now we are done with the nduma now we are going to peel the sweet potatoes i'm going to, to peel my sweet potatoes then we come and peel our butternut so we peel and actually guys i think the work of the um, the sweet potato and the nduma they are they are almost the same but for me i prefer putting all of them so if you can get the sweet potato amanduma one of them is good for you but for me since since i can i can manage to get all of them in in our market so i prefer using all of them so now we are going to so now guys you are going to peel our butternut and as i had told you earlier it's not a must you use this butternut you can just use the the normal malenge that you get but for me i prefer this butternut i think it's it's more nutritious but it's not a must you can just use the one that you get so i'm going to peel the butternut so you see you see guys the way this cutting is hard so definitely here you can't use the potato peeler i prefer just using a knife so guys these things have their work what i'm going to do with them i'm going to dry them with the sun then i'm going to fry them the ones that i had earlier they had already finished but now i'm going to keep these ones nitazianika kwa jujua so then zikikauka tunazi we cook them when you tunapikanga nini njugu and then pia zinatumika they are being used while cooking the uji power but for now since i'm going to dry them then i'm going to show you maybe in the next one so for now guys now we have already peeled our nini here here are our nduma you see wanduma we are going to wash them guys don't mind our nini our malenge our cassava and then our sweet potato so you see we are going to wash them guys and then going to wash them and then you remember our sugar so you remember our sugar to taste then our simsim our simsim you see them guys and then our njugu our njugu and then as you remember guys we are going to use a blender so you're supposed to have a blender this one you're going to use it to crush the nini the peas 
the njugu and this one we are going now to blend everything together so now guys what i'm going to do what i'm going to do guys i'm going to wash these ones i'm going to wash so guys the day today we don't have water today our water is not in i'm just going to use the water that i have stored yeah it's somehow economical you're supposed to store water so see i'm going and by the way guys you are going to need to look and i have not showed you but blue but i'm going to tell you later see i'm going to wash our duma i'm going to going to wash them on the ma and even you can call them arrow roots in english they are called arrow roots our cassavas you see You see, so for me, I think that everything is ready now. You see, these are our sweet potatoes. You see, our sweet potato, our cassava, our ndomas, I mean our arrow roots, and then our malenge. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to take another plate. I'm going to take another plate guys so i chop these ones into smaller pieces so that when we boil them height to height take it won't take a lot of time you see i'm going to chop them into smaller pieces So guys, as you can see, I'm done. I'm done, cho I'm done chopping our things. This and duma, I've separated these dumas, the arrow roots, because they take a lot of time to cook. So first I'm going to start by boiling the arrow roots, then I come and add the other ones later. So let me turn on my, my heat and then we start boiling. see our sufuria is on the heat so i'm going to put i'm going to put our arrow roots i'm going to put them and then we boil them so guys as you can see as you can see i'm using a pressure cooker because i don't want to use my normal sufuria i don't want them to take a lot of time in the heat so i'm going to first put the arrow roots I give them time to boil let me first close the sufuria. I give them time to boil. So after they they pre-boil for like five minutes, then I'm going to add the other ones. You see? Then I'm going to add the other ones. So we are going to put our arrow roots in our pressure cooker to boil. Meanwhile, we are coming and blend our our peas. This is our njugu. We are coming and blend them. So come, let's blend our njugu. So as you can see guys, you are going to check this one. I'm sure that every blender you purchase has this cutting. I'm going to take it. We put our peas. We're going to put our jugus. Then we, we blend them. So guys, we are going to bear with us for the noise. The noise is going to be a lot. But we are first going to blend them. So I think guys they are ready as you can see I think this is what we wanted let me show you This is the mixture that we wanted you see they are very crushed you see they are very crushed this is what we wanted naona venye zinaka zinaka unga unga so the other process tutakuja kumalizia hapa kwa kwa this blender So guys I'm going to put this one aside 
is I'm going to return these ones here in our tin. Meanwhile, don't forget that our arrow roots are still in the fire cooking. So guys, again, we are going then again to, to blend our simsims. We are going to put our simsim the same way to liek and jugu. So here we blend them a little bit, then we close. Then again, we take our blender. Then again, we are going to crush the simsim. Our sim sims are ready. Wow, and the, the smell, even the sim sim, they are they're having like a nice smell. You see the ways make unga unga. You are seeing, guys, this is what we wanted. Again, we are going to transfer our sim sim back. So guys, akuna uji nutritious like this one. You see the sim sim the way they are now from the seeds now imekuwa unga unga. So guys, I think I think it's ten minutes since to make a layer his on duma. We are going to check on them, but remember we have our sim sim in it. We have already crushed into powder form. Our peas, our njugu, we already crushed them into into powder form and then our sugar but remember i told you sugar is optional you can use honey if you have your honey so guys even we are almost we are almost finishing i think with the main things we are going to check on our arrow roots then we add we add the other things that we had we had prepared so as you can see guys you see our doma at least we are having some progress with our domas we are going to add these ones you remember these ones our malenge our cassavas and our sweet potatoes we are going to add all of them in. We allow them to boil. You can see, you can see the mixture. So I'm going to cover. We allow them to boil. When they boil, when they cook, they can be mashed. So from there, we are going to remove them. So let them let us cover them and give them time to boil, guys. I'm going to we are going to come back and check on them. Guys, our nini, our numas, our pumpkins. Our nini, our cassava, and our sweet potatoes are ready. So, as you can see, guys, I had told you earlier we are going to use our blue band. We are going to put it there. But here, the blue band is optional. It's not a must. You put it. But here, it has its own benefits. So, now we are going to, to mash. If you have a masher, it could be the best option. But it has a bond too with a muiko. See guys, you see already the margarine is already melting. Even the duma, so we are going to match them so that at least when we blend them, it will be much easier. You see guys. as you can see as you can see we have tried to mash mash what we had so we are going to take this ones by spoon then we put in the blender we are going first to start with half of it and then guys but they i'm sorry earlier i had not shown you the milk but they have you are supposed to use milk but we are only going to use one glass one cup of milk so we are going to put milk kiasi Dio, it was idea with the blending so that here we don't destroy our blender. Then we start. With the so 
going to blend we, we are going to blend while adding of course to ongezea to blend so let me check you see at least in a blend so to ongezea to blend don't nini don't worry with the mess so again we are going to scoop another to scoop another lot we add little by little We are going to put our peas, our njugu, remember guys, to take njugu yetu. Then we blend, we blend again. But here we can add some milk so that pia, we some mess, so that here we don't, we are going to blend so that pia, we don't ruin our blender. So we are going to blend again. So we are going to put all our milk. We are going to put all our milk. And then at this stage we are going to put our sim sims, all of it. Plus our sugar, you remember our sugar? We are going to put our sugar to taste. Then we stir a little bit for everything to mix well. Then again we start blending. can see our uji power is ready now our uji power is ready it's ready to drink you can see the way heavy it is me i like heavy porridge you see yeah you can see our porridge guys so we can you can put your porridge in anywhere that you wish to put it you can put it in a bowl or in a cup like mine you see the weight is heavy are you seeing the weight is heavy yeah it is very very heavy and very nutritious so guys kindly try this porridge out so guys as you can see our uji power is ready mm -hmm. mm. And it is very, very, very tasty. So, guys, kindly go try making your uji power at home. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly, guys, what are you waiting for? Kindly subscribe to my channel, like to this video, comment to this video, share this link to everyone, guys. So, if you have liked the ingredients or if you want another ingredient, comment hapochini the next recipe or the next thing that you want me to cook. To cook for you so kindly guys continue subscribing and liking to my video bye till next time let me enjoy my porridge <laughs>